In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for CuCl2 plus Na2S. This is copper 2 chloride. This is sodium sulfide. The first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we have to balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation. You can see that we have two sodium atoms here and only one here. Why don't we put a 2 in front of the NaCl? That balances the sodium. Now we have two chlorines, but we have two chlorines over here. Everything else is balanced, so we're good. This is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. Chlorides are very soluble. We're we'll write Aq, aqueous, dissolved in water. Sulfides, in general, they're not soluble, but if you have a sodium compound or a potassium compound, that's going to be soluble. So Aq, this will be soluble, dissociate into its ions. Sulfides, like we said, in general, they're not soluble. Copper 2 sulfide, that's insoluble. These two react, they form a solid. And that solid, that sinks to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So this is a precipitation reaction. Next, we have chloride here, a sodium compound, very soluble, AQ. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. Copper we don't know, but we do know the chloride ion is always 1 minus. Since we have two of them, copper has to be 2 plus. So Cu2 plus, I'll write the states later. And then we have two chloride ions, two of that Cl minus chloride ion. Sodium's in group one on the periodic table. That's going to be one plus sulfide ion, two minus. Two sodium ions. And then we have the sulfide ion. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products with net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart. This will just be Cu S, we'll keep it together. And then we'll have the sodium and chloride ions, two sodium ions, just like the reactants. And then we have two chloride ions, also like the reactants. This is what we call the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. So in the reactants here, I see I have these two chloride ions. In the products, I also have two chloride ions. Those are spectator ions. We also have two sodium ions, and again in the products, two sodium ions. Spectator ions, we cross those out. And what's left, that's the net ionic equation for CuCl2 plus Na2S. I'll clean it up and write the states in. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for the copper 2 chloride and sodium sulfide. You'll note charge is conserved. We have a 2 plus and a 2 minus. That adds up to 0, net charge of 0 over here. Neutral compound net charge of zero. The atoms, they're balanced too. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for CuCl2 plus Na2S. Thanks for watching.